You know, it hadn't occurred to me in all the nine years I've been doing videos. I never did Garbage Pail Kids, did I? Did I talk about Garbage Pail Kids? I must have. I must have. All right. So, methinks that I packed a lot of the Garbage Pail Kids away. I, I know exactly where I could find the binders to my original series 1 through 15. I have other cards from the last, uh, let me think about that. Uh, 1985, 2000, uh, probably the early 2000s, but all the way up to last decade. I don't think anything from the 2020s, though. I can never, you know, I go to my local Target and I can never find those Garbage Pail Kids. I see Pokemon. I see Pokemon uh, trading card games and uh, spinner attack games, like, look like a Pog thing where you... You open up the uh, Pokeballs and they're your little Pokemon figurines launch Pogs and shit. I mean, it's great, but what am I supposed to do with it? So here we have, this is, look at this. Now, <laughs> I got this, when did I get this? <clears throat> I'm going to say around my ninth birthday, maybe my 10th, probably my ninth birthday, okay? Um, this is... Uh, Jeffrey's school box. Never mind the. There's the sexually provocative giraffe on the side here, and there's a giraffe. This was old school Jeffrey's school box box on Toys R Us, a relic of the time. Look at that. So in here are my garbage pail kids uh, jumbo carts. Now this is the jumbo cart. So we're gonna call this part one. Uh, of my Garbage Pail Kids set. Um, there are so many. They kind of rehash the, the old cards. They don't make new ones. But I used to remember I wrote to uh, John Pound, who was the original artist, and he would uh, write me back. Very polite guy. I don't know if I still have those letters today. If I don't have them, they got water damaged or... I don't know. But they're, we're going to show off the cards, okay? These are rare... There were all kinds of garbage pail. There were like cards and plastic keychain designs. Like you could make, uh, you you had a garbage pail kids keychains, figurines, uh, trash cans with a with a figurine would pop out of the trash can. Um, there were gum and toys and all kinds of shit. The cartoon. I finally watched the Saturday morning cartoon. wasn't that good. Maybe they had a right to cancel it. So let's start, we're going to start with whatever. We have, these are seven inch, six to seven inch cards, okay? And here we have, this is virus iris, like the coronavirus. And I'm going to put these, uh, we'll stack them carefully, but these are so old. This license entitles a bearer to give his stupid opinion on any and all subjects, and in no circumstances are you, are contradicted. You are the world's greatest authority or nothing. So we got we got licenses there. Uh, here is Mad Mike. Mad Mike. <laughs> and Mad, this is like, he's like, Oonga, you know, he's rocking out. So this is the Bad Taste Award uh, to afflict your miserable taste in fashion, TV, food. This is really cool. This is the kind of stuff that they used to have uh, because you have to remember that this is this is the large version of the first series. And in the first series, this is a parody of the Garbage Pail Kids or the Cabbage Patch Kids. And the Cabbage Patch Kids had these little certificates that told you this is Xavier, this is Janet, boy or girl. And they had these weird cabbage swollen heads. And there was a series called uh, Wacky Packages. And there was a prototype I think for a Garbage Pail Kids, uh, a humor version of that. I don't know if it actually did come out, but from that came the Garbage Pail Kids. So um, some of these are a mixture of the first series jumbo size and then special cards for like a special set. Have a nice day, Garbage Pail Kids. And that's this one here. And here we have the... House of Garbage gift certificate. To, so his or her choice of 46 cents worth of merchandise from the House of Garbage Master Catalog. We 
feature a large and diversified selection of waste matter, including refuse, rubbish, spoil, carry-on, rot, do, uh, dregs, draft, remains, scraps, swill. I can pick them. So that's that one. So these are different ones. Uh, this is from Series 1. Oh, my God. That's, there is New Wave Dave. Now, I don't think these are stickers. These are not stickers. Because you would see an arrow on the top saying it's a sticker. But I remember seeing... I first saw these cards way back in 1986. 85 or 86. I think it was 85 when they first came out. And some kid on a who uh, had a wheelchair had stickers. So they just took them off. No. Uh, the stickers were... We're, st we're fastened on pretty tight to his wheelchair. But uh, yeah, so this is the Dirty Rat Award. Success has not changed you. You're the same rat you always were. Ha <laughs> ha, but you have a heart of gold. That's that one. Um, take a garbage pail kid to lunch. That's this one here. All right? And then this is the most likely to succeed award. Uh, awarded to whatever. You could stare off into vacant space mumbling the name Murray until someone pats you on the back. There you go. That's that one. How to be a garbage pail kid. Now this kind of looks like uh, one of the garbage pail kids from series three. Mushroom cloud, railroad spikes, Bowie knife, too gross to discuss. Toilet humor, creepy insects. Wear clothing of both sexes just in case. <laughs> Ooh, we're, we're turning on territory here. Bear trap on on foot, there's no place like home. Holes in body, leaky nose, uh, burning flesh, snakes for hair, hit by lightning. So that's how to be a garbage pail kid. That's amazing, right? That is amazing art by John Pound. And here we have living death certificate, uh, extended intervals of exposure to primetime television, abusive addiction to top 40 radio stations, Overexposure to obnoxious bubblegum cards. You know, I'm, re I'm reading, I'm not reading all of them, but just what some of the text here. Oh my gosh, here we go. Now, I recognize, I think, some of this stuff here. But there you go. And the winner is Miss Garbage Pail Kid. How about that? And uh, there we got the Miss Garbage Pail Award. Ugh. Imagine if you saw this on Tinder. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> or Facebook dating uh, for the most nauseating assemblage of facial aberrations ever congregated on one cranium. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's a shame. Uh, this is from series one. This is Cranky Frankie. Yep, that's a lot of people who just grind up that shit in the powder. That's kids from my generation. These kids these days, were, were all, kids today are apologizing all the time. Um, you never come to school on time because the shock would be too much for your teacher. When you make a date, you show up on time, give or take a day or so. You'd be late for your own funeral. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is Corroded Carl. Right? And there you got Disgusting Eater License. There's that one. And here we have the Garbage Pail Kids, the Garbage Pail School Senior Class. I, I recognize this guy on the top left. Oh, I recognize, yeah, two of these Garbage Pail Kids on the top left. You know, you got Matt, not Mad Mike, you got New Wave Dave and uh, Ted DK or some shit like that. Yeah. I once called a kid the name of a Garbage Pail Kid and Teacher told me to stop. Well, what can you do? There is Junkie Jeff. This is from Series 1. I believe this is like 2A or 2B. Uh, this is the Squealer's License. <laughs> There's that one. I'm going to pull these next ones out. This is de that. You've seen him now. Dead Ted. So there's Dead Ted. Okay. And what's the, what's the award? The Winer's Award. For going out and getting what he or she wants in life using the following easy-to-learn methods. 
whiting, vetching, cajoling, threatening, whimpering. Yeah, that's like a lot of people on Twitter, right? Uh, here we have Stormy, he Stormy Heather. Stormy fucking Heather, right? So, and she has the allergy prescription. Uh, TV Stevie. I had, there were also Garbage Pail Kids uh, folders, like peachy folders. They don't, do they still make peachy folders? I don't think they do. You know, I just learned today that Days of Our Lives is not on NBC anymore. It's on uh, Peacock. That's a very strange time we're in. Uh, gives you the right to be a cheapskate. To go steady with a girl who was born on February 29th. Oh, here we go. So you will have to give her a birthday present once every four years. Ha! There you go. There you go. So, okay. You can also keep your fingernails very short. You can have trouble picking up a check. So here's Mad Mike again. This is Mad Mike again. So that one. And... Let's see, we got Rundown Rhoda. Yeah, I remember getting folders with these characters on them, with these kids on them. Uh, insane driver permit. This uh, We talked about my cousin Memo about this. This license permits you to drive on the sidewalks to avoid traffic, to drive through stop signs as long as you blow your horn. <laughs> there you go. That's that one. Here's Frankie again. All from Series 1. Uh, here is Run Down Rhoda again. And then this one, Frigid Bridget. <laughs> you know, in case Amaya, there, there is no Garbage Pail Kid Amaya. So, so sorry. <laughs> Not Science Zero. Not Science Zero. Bridget. This is Bridget. Okay, somebody else. But there is no Amaya Garbage Pail Kid. I just, I was just, I was just thinking of Amaya right now. Sorry. Forgiveness, please. Uh, this license gives you the right to be your own obnoxious self, the right to be nasty license. You may eat garlic hero sandwiches on the school bus and throw rice at weddings. Cooked rice. Okay, so I'm not sure. I'll go through these pretty quick. Um, here we have Itchy Richie. This is, this is from Series 1. You got the coward's license. Why has she got no shirt on? I don't know. Oh, she's still a baby, I think. Uh, junk Food John. Junk Food John. And that has the backseat driver's license. Ha <laughs> ha! Um, this is number one. I don't have Adam Bomb. Nat Nasty Nick? Right? This is the, per the permit to stay up late. I like this permit. To watch the late show on TV. You may also watch the late, late show and the late, late, late show. Saturday night you are permitted to stay up later. That, that is the license. That everybody needs to have. And it goes with the vampire too. It goes well with the vampire. So that's number one. That's that's uh, this guy. Here we got Wrinkly Randy. Anybody remember this guy? Wrinkly Randy. And he's got the Juvenile Delinquency Award. Okay. Okay. And this one is Art Apart. Art Apart. Bull Throwers Award. You did not tell one lie last year. You told 10,000. You keep opening things by mistake, mostly your mouth. You would lie with a straight face if you had one. Cows may come and go, uh, but your bull goes on forever. Yes, that's that's like a lot of people. On the YouTube, um, I think I showed off Corroded Carl. I believe I did. Uh, no, probably not. That's Corroded Carl. Great paintings. And John Pound had his like original paintings for Garbage Pail Kids. By the time I saw his uh, site in 2000, he had sold the Adam Bomb one a long time ago. Here's Fry and Brian. I wonder who owns that today. Fry and Brian. And he has the Grouch license. And here we have Weird Wendy. Right? The busybody license, yeah, entitles you to mind everyone's business, <laughs> except your own. <laughs> Aylin Al, check out Aylin Al. There you go. The permit to be a pig. There you go. 
It entitles you to, to bottle the water you bathe in and sell it for ink. Oh my God. Who does that remind you of? This permit per, permits you to bottle the water you bathe in and sell it for ink. It also permits you to wear black socks all the time. I know a girl that would have that permit. Of course, she has that permit. You know what I'm talking about, Bella. Kim Kong. The most like, unlikely to succeed award. Uh, Virus Iris. Uh, we got Kim Kong. That's Kim Kong. Up Chuck. Check out Up Chuck. Oh my god. That's neat. Conceit Award. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to go through these pretty quick. Boney Joni. Right? There's Boney Joni. I don't think there's an A and B list. I think they just take the best names and then just put it in one set. So this is not the this is not the original first series. I have that in a separate folder. And um, Garbage Pale Kids Rule. You got the letters. I think there's a, a letter set for the 2000 series of Garbage Pale Kids. Exterior Design Award. So this is from the, uh, the more obscure thing here. Uh, Garbage Pail Circus. It's disgusting. Revolting. Uh, see Sharp sh Shermie. Sickening. See Flaming Floyd. Repugnant. See Pressed Pete. Oh, shit. And then this is the, uh, the circus contract. Oh, shit. You are hereby contracted to be displayed for no less than 23 and no more than 24 hours, seven days a week. Okay. And here's this one to prepare you. Bony Joni Thin Lin, Bony Joni Thin Lin, Bony Joni. You can see it goes on and on and on and on and on and on. Those cards keep going on. They keep going on and on and on and on. And there's your cemetery lease. Busted. I always wondered if this would ever become a reality. Because you just you're spending too much time on cards. Right? So there's that one. All right, I'm going to go through these really quick. Garbage Pail Kids. Garbage Pail's uh, Foul Bill. Kids were still collecting baseball cards back then. And Tops made baseball cards as well as the Garbage Pail Kids. Uh, this, okay, these are from the first series. Ash Can Andy. What does that look like, right? You remember. And there's the Liar's License. Uh... We have Virus Iris again. It takes guts. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at that painting. Look at that artwork. That's neat. And this is Diploma. Medical, School of Medical Arts Diploma. Not that it means anything. Uh, okay, so I got a few more left. Let me just correct myself here. Hooked on garbage pail kids, like hooked on phonics. <laughs> and then this one says, Fishing for Trouble Award. And we got a couple more. We got two more. Here we have Swell Mel. Yep, it was those times. Swell Mel. Ha ha ha. We could laugh at the stuff and not get canceled. Uh, permit to use the phone. This will permit. This is for Amaya. Okay. This will permit you to use the phone in case of emergencies, such as discussing Saturday night dates, new hairdos, the latest rock groups, and ball scores. Other people will have to wait to make an unimportant calls, such as reporting fires, burglars, and nuclear plant explosions. And then finally, uh, visit the Garbage Pail National Park. Uh, there you go. That's it. That's it, everyone. And I think that the back shows us. Having a wonderful time. Wish you were here. This place blows me away. That's it. That's how you end it. That's how we end it. And uh, so those are my cards. And here are some of the other ones, but these are the same ones we've seen. Yeah. What an amazing set. Um, I was proud to collect this way back when I was a kid. Um, it was it was right after I was collecting Masters of the Universe. 
And before I was collecting comic books, uh, Superman in, in particular. So now I just don't worry about it as I'm looking back at all this stuff. <laughs> what an amazing collection. So there you go. That's it. So um, I hope you like it. That's the uh, lunchbox, school box uh, from the 80s. And uh, maybe I'll do this again next month if you're all good. Uh, let me know what you think. Drop a like. You know, we'll, we'll do some more stuff later on.